Lean back. That's it. I left school at 16. I went to work in a shoe factory for minimum wage. I didn't like it. So I took a college course, hairdressing, and, well, it turns out I'm pretty good at it. The point is, I'm nobody. I'm a single mother living in a crappy London flat without any particular ambitions of greatness outside whether or not we're going to have fish fingers for tea tonight. And yet, right now, in this moment, I'm the most powerful woman in the nation. Because I am cutting the Prime Minister's hair. Did you um, manage to catch question time last night, Janice? No, didn't, sir. Oh, that's a pity. There was quite an interesting debate on the... I normally watch celebrity surgery on Thursday. Gary Barlow had a juicy to give his kidney to. Oh, OK. The walls of this room are ten inches thick. There are four armed policemen in the corridor outside. There are surface to air missiles on the roof, for God's sake. But there's no accounting for me. I'm not going to assassinate nobody, so don't get your hopes up. There's not a violent bone in my body. But I could do something much worse. Cause some lasting damage. I could give him a bad haircut. I mean, I could give him a terrible haircut. Oh, I'm uh, meeting the ambassador tomorrow, so I need my fringe, um, neater, um, shorter. Right. Uh, not too short, mind you. Do you think you could do that for me, um, shorter? Shorter, not short? Yes, sir. Just because last time I thought it was perhaps a little bit too... Short? Which is exactly what I want, but just... Just not too short. Yeah. You know what I mean. Um, maybe a little bit shorter? Yeah, that'll do. Prime Ministers don't have bad hair. It's in the nature of their jobs. Their hair has to go unnoticed. It has to be benign. Which they say a lot around here. I think it's another word for armless. So, I leave my salon once a month, every month, to come to this room and maintain the status quo of national politics by ensuring he gets a nice, ambivalent trim. Could a Prime Minister with a shining, bleached mullet stand before Parliament and ask for education reform? No, I couldn't. Could he attend global summits and discuss arms treaties with everyone staring at his spectacular perm? Of course not. Could a Prime Minister with a mohawk ever be accepted as a man who makes rational decisions? Let alone someone who holds a balance of world power in their humble, manicured hands. I hold the fate of this nation, maybe even the world, in my hands. I'm a pretty good hairdresser a reasonable mother and an all-round mediocre person. If I ruin this man's haircut, and I mean ruin it, then... Jesus! I'd go down in history. John Wilkes Booth, Lee Harvey Oswald, they had to kill to feel this kind of power. Now they're immortal. All I have to do is slip my clippers from a number four to a number one. I'm a single mother from Woolwich. It's nothing personal. It's history. Fuck it.
myself and I have got no competition